Now, ladies, what I'm about to say in this video, I'm not trying to offend and I'm not trying to be red pill or anything, but there's some things that I've been noticing since I've been on my YouTube journey. I started my YouTube journey a few years ago after seeing a video from uh, the late Kevin Samuels, Average at Best, and I thought he came down really hard on this young lady. So it's been this fixation on this high value dude. And usually the stuff is always centered around money, status, power, whatnot. When I say that women have a great influence over men, I mean that a woman can either elevate a man to high heights or bring him down to nothing. For instance, this Jada Pickett thing and uh, Will Smith, this woman has brought this man down to nothing. Just her attitude, her approach, just everything she's done. So much so that not only is she being allegedly blackballed from Hollywood, but also Will Smith is being let go of from major productions and whatnot. His career is in jeopardy because of her influence. Now, this is something I took notice of after uh, joining YouTube because I, I kept watching videos of these guys talking about the modern woman, the modern woman this, modern woman that. And again, like I said, this isn't a video to try to point out how horrible women are, but I had to at least see if these things were true or had some truth behind them. Now, at the time when I watched that video from the late Kevin Samuels, I've been married for 24 years, so I was out of the dating market for years, right? So my experience with women was nothing like what these guys were talking about, okay? So I started observing things that I've seen, particularly like, again, the Jada Pinkett and uh, Will Smith, and most recently this tape that came out with Sex Red, though she didn't put it out, it was leaked out, but the fact that you allow a man to, to tape you guys while y'all are doing things, right? And, um, and even some of the young ladies around my uh, job, I've noticed that some of these, these young ladies, the way they would interact with young men. Now, I don't get involved with the gossip and hearsay stuff on my job, but I noticed that there were quite a few women young ladies that will sleep with a young man that they know that has slept with other women that they even know on the job. But anyhow, uh, that influence a woman has over a man. Now, I know some some women will say that, you know, men have an influence over women, and that's certainly true. You have these smooth-talking dudes that uh, can say a whole lot of stuff to women and just really sweep them off their feet. But for the most part, I believe that women can have the greatest influence over men. And again, for the good or for the bad. And I have some biblical examples of this. First being Eve over Adam. God gave Adam some specific instructions, but Adam was willing to disobey those instructions for the sake of his wife and plunge humanity into a complete separation from God that we have to have a reconnection back to God through Christ. And then there's Jezebel and Ahab. Now, King Ahab was a king of Israel. He was an immoral king, and Jezebel ran him. She was calling the shots. She was pulling all the strings. She was a treacherous woman. She was a sensuous woman. She was a woman that was going to get her way no matter what. And then there's Delilah and Samson. Now, no one knew the secret of his strength, which was his hair. And uh, Delilah was a woman that he was interested in. And, you know, she finessed him into telling her his secret so much so that she sold him out to the uh, men of her village. And then there's some positive influences in the Bible. You have Ruth and Boaz. Now, Ruth was the daughter-in-law of Naomi. Now, all of uh, Naomi's sons were killed, and Naomi <laughs> was returning to her country, and her uh, daughter-in-law, Ruth, wanted to be by her side and, and, and take care of her. And so when they got back to her land, Naomi told her about a, a relative of hers, Boaz, who was very wealthy, and so that she can go in and glean from his fields and whatnot. So she did that. She was a hardworking woman. 
Boaz took notice of her and uh, he found out what she did by accompanying her mother-in-law back to her homeland. He started courting her and he ended up marrying her. And then there's Esther and Xerxes. Xerxes was the king of Persia. And Esther was an Israelite that ended up being queen. When the children of Israel were being threatened, she helped save a whole nation from annihilation. And then there's Abigail and David. Abigail was the wife of Nabal. Now, Nabal was a wealthy guy, but his name meant fool. Now, Nabal had servants that would uh, see to his flocks, but David would protect his servants from raiders and bandits and whatnot. Now, I'm sure that Nabal knew who David was and what he was doing. He enjoyed the luxury of having that free security, okay? Now, when David... Uh, asked him for provisions for his men. He acted like he didn't know David. It ticked David off. David was getting ready to go and kill every man, as he said, everything that pissed on the wall. Uh, one of Nabal's servants told Abigail, and Abigail got provisions ready for David's men, and she prevented David from acting out of violence because David was in his emotions about this. And he would have made a grave mistake by murdering a lot of people. So David ended up marrying Abigail after Nabal died because she was a wise woman. And there are some modern day women I could think about that fall into the spectrum of those women I described from the Bible. A good example of a woman that's a, a bad influence over a man, again, Jada Pinkett Smith tore her husband down. I don't know if Will Smith's career could ever recover. As a matter of fact, I told my wife that I can't even watch his bad boy movies. Now, I enjoy Will Smith. I was into Will Smith when I was a teenager when he was with Fresh Prince and Jazzy Jeff. His music resonated with me because he made music for the nerds, right? And when he started acting, I really enjoyed his movies. And in Bad Boys, you know, he played this suave guy. I can't even watch those movies now knowing how his wife has completely emasculated him. And then a good example is Denzel Washington's wife. Now, Denzel Washington often praises his wife in speeches and whatnot for being there with him from the beginning when he was nothing, when he had nothing. And I'm sure that she encouraged him and told him to keep going when he wanted to quit when he wasn't making top dollar as an actor. And now she's reaping the benefits of that. Now, ladies, I heard a lot of women over the, the time I saw that video, average at best, express the type of man that they want and it's been coined as a high value man. And they gave their list of prerequisites. And I would like to say that since knowing that you have this great influence of a man, maybe some of you knew it and maybe some of you didn't, that maybe you can use that influence you have over men for the good, right? Like I said, your influence can build a man up or tear him down. I heard some women say they don't want another project. They don't want to deal with a guy that's a project. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is a good man may be a man that's working hard. He has integrity. He may have character, but he may not came into his own as far as like the material goods like some women would want, but he's a good man. It's uh, It would behoove you to use your influence to help a man like that instead of saying, I don't want no man like that. All I'm saying, women, is look, check yourselves in regards to the type of influence that you're exerting over men. If you want a good man, that good man may not be in the economic position you want, but he may check the boxes for all of the good things and qualities as being a husband and provider and a, a good mate. And don't be so uh, much enamored by someone who maybe have those things that, but may have horrible character that you find yourself having to manipulate men to get what you want. But anyhow, that's all I want to say about that. You know, again, like I said, I'm not trying to tear my sisters down. It's just to bring to light something that whether people want to admit it or not, about the influence that women have over men. You can either be a great influence to help build or a horrible influence to help tear down. And again, don't always be looking for that quick fix. But anyhow, I would like for you guys to join in this conversation. Um, 
Let me know uh, how you feel about this, but keep the comments clean and no fussing and no fighting. Peace, and I'll see you on the next one.